was a good header by Pring. And well shot is well blocked. Good header by Pring, good run by Naki Wells, good defending by Ethan Ampadu. Well played all round. Good recovery from Ampadu. So, Bristol City's corner kick. Wells delivery, Melio with the punch. Oh, that's trouble. Tanner got himself in the right. Mix up him. Somerville couldn't get it over the top of O'Leary, and Bristol City are very lucky. Well, this was a very awkward moment indeed for George Tanner. Nicked away from him by Crescencio Somerville. Threw on goal, he'd be disappointed he couldn't get it over O'Leary. It's a decent save by the Bristol City goalkeeper. But Somerville, well, perhaps went for the hardest option and tried to loft it over the top of the goalkeeper. Well, this touching tribute to Max Dixon and Mason Wrist. Aged for 16 and 15, respectively, both fatally stabbed in the city of Bristol last weekend. Great. Bamford. Bamford's done really well to get away from Viner. Nonto's in the middle. Bamford has to find him and has it. And the follow up from Rutte is somehow saved by O'Leary. I can't believe it, Ruche. Superb play by Bamford. Neither of those two are lightning fast, but Bamford was a little quicker than Viner. It was blocked by Tanner, the follow-up from Ruche, and O'Leary got himself in the way. Should be 1-0 Leeds. It's a good save, but Ruche should be disappointed with that. Didn't have to break stride to hit it. The goalkeeper made the ball. Long from Viner. Nicely done. And well, the fall ended up inside the penalty area. The foul was outside the penalty area. Let's have a little look at this. It's a pretty good decision. McCrory is fouled. There by Furpo. One or the other, well, he's not sure which. Williams didn't go for goal. The downward header was blocked and then the shot came in, and I think it hit McCrory, taking it over the top of the crossbar. Who knows where it would have gone otherwise? Well, it needed blocking, and it got a block from McCrory. As Pring hit it, McCrory couldn't get out of the way. It would have needed saving had it not hit his teammate. Gary Gruev is there to find Joe Rodon. Furpo. And Viner wasn't quite quick enough to carry it out! And Wilfred Nonto scores only his second goal of the season and leads United in front of Ashton Gate. Got a hand to this, but he couldn't 
keep it out. If it was a touch on the goalkeeper, it was the faintest of touches, followed by the most heartfelt of celebrations. It's a free kick to Bristol City as he just caught Cameron Pring. And there's the free kick, another down by Rob Dickey, and they've lost it. Leeds are on the break here. Somerville got options right and left. Kamara to his right. Here's Glenn Kamara, and it's wide, and it did take a flick, I think, off the goalkeeper. Well, that's two one-on-ones Leeds have had against Max O'Leary in this game. Somerville in the first half, and then Kamara here. That touch wasn't great. This was OK. That touch... Been. He's going to be disappointed tonight, Vicencio Somerville, if he doesn't get his name on the score sheet. He's had three pretty presentable opportunities now. He worked the space really well, it's an inviting side of the... Here's McCroy. and keeps Leeds in front. Definitely onside. Good ball that by Conway. Bristol City's first attempt on target in this game from the substitute Anis Mehmeti. Pretty good save by Melier. Just look and Julie ruffled and finds Melier. Come to Gruev. Kamara was waiting for it. Don't really know why. Back tackling away from the ball and Bell nicked in for Bristol City. Now what can he get across in? Bell. Gardner Hickman. Gardner Hickman for the return and Melier's there. Just a glimmer. A glimmer for Bristol City. Ruto, if he can get the ball, he's found Somerville. Long term Bamford in the middle, Crescentio Somerville wasn't far away. Well, it's just possible that Leeds will live to regret the chances that they've missed and the chances in particular that Somerville has missed. He's driven that across O'Leary and what? And the referee he's going to blow his whistle very soon on a Leeds United victory which will make it five in the championship on the spin send those 3,000 travelling home support travelling supporters home very happy indeed and put Leeds United second in the championship moving above both Southampton and Ipswich who do have games in hand but it's Leeds who take the points tonight and deservedly so Daniel Farkas side were much the better. Wilfried Nonto with only his second goal of the season proved decisive. And Leeds are beginning to look like they're going to take a bit of stopping. Five wins on the spin. It finishes at Ashton Gate. Bristol City nil. Leeds United won. <laughs>